This week, I'm going to be moving off of Etsy. Cards. The total price is $535. Just a tip, if you don't want a derpy Ronnie, just like squish it like this. Happy Monday. Good morning. I'm ready to be productive this week. This week, I'm going to be moving off of Etsy. I feel like... I have a lot of reasons that I want to move off of Etsy, but I'll also explain like whether Etsy is right for you because there are reasons that are positive for being on Etsy, but it really just depends on like what you're looking for in your own shop. The reasons why I want to move off of Etsy is because I want to build my own brand and not saying that you can't do that on Etsy, but I want to build my brand in a way where I can customize the website and shop exactly the way I want to. I want it to feel like it's my space. I can control everything that's going on inside of that website and that shop. Whether it's like banners, the way the products are laid out. You know, I just want to be in control of that space, which isn't something easy to do. It's going to take a lot of work. This week, I'm going to just start off with buying my domain. I'm going to start designing everything on the website or attempting to. Um, the process is a long process so I'm thinking I'll take baby steps and just adjust it throughout like my shop updates and it'll be a lot easier on me that way. I'm also going to be making a lot of new products. I just need to like get it going and just start it or else I'm never going to get anywhere. I feel like I'm in a good headspace right now where I'm on this like art roll so I need to just take advantage of it and quickly like produce all these things. <gasps> the gardeners are back, no! So some of the reasons that I want to tell you of why you might enjoy using Etsy a lot more. So I personally already have grown kind of like a customer base through like Instagram and YouTube. I've grown like a following that's like big enough, I guess, to be a whole separate shop where it doesn't include a marketplace. Etsy is really good for people that are just starting out, that haven't really brought in a lot of followers yet, but still want to take advantage of the marketplace. And that's where essentially all the fees are, like a lot of the fees are going to, is that they're promoting your items in the marketplace so that whatever key terms you use, whatever title you're using, maybe if you're doing more fan art based things, for example, this is just like a random example that popped to the top of my head, but like Rick and Morty, if you have Rick and Morty merch and you type in Rick and Morty, people can go to the marketplace, type in Rick and Morty stickers or something and yours might pop up there. And that's also another way of building like your following on Etsy. But I do think that like if you're at a certain point where most of your sales are coming from your own promotion, your own marketing, from your own social media accounts, Etsy is kind of taking those fees and just running with it. Most of the sales I get from shop updates are coming from my own traffic. Of course, Etsy is still bringing in traffic, but that traffic converting to sales is very low. The conversion rate just doesn't really make sense for me. I'm going to start doing that tomorrow though. For today, I'm going to start working on new products, especially the enamel pins and the patches because I already have my manufacturers down for those. I just need to vectorize them on Illustrator. Also, shout out to my patrons. They help me out a lot. I put a poll up of like, I have like a, a, like a whole handful of drawings and I was asking them like pin or patch for every single drawing. And they went in and like, you know, helped me with the deciding factor because I cannot decide for my life. I'm really excited. Like I'm ready. I'm like so ready for this change. Why am I always screaming? I feel like if I ever make like YouTube merch, I would just have a shirt that says ah. Because that seems like it's a thing now. I do it once in like every single vlog. Ah. Okay, let's get to work. I've 
I've gotten to a point where I can no longer eat a lot of carbs without immediately passing out for like an hour and I'm trying really hard to keep my eyes open so I can finish this but carbs... I've also been spending the past like 10 minutes trying to find this one thing that I saved a long time ago as a reference to what kind of enamel pin I want to make but I can't find it Okay, so this is what I have on Patreon and this is like usually how my polls look like and I just pretty much put down every single option and ask people if they want to see it as a pin or a patch. For the tiger, I want to do a sticker patch which is essentially a patch but like with an adhesive back instead of an iron-on back. I want to do maybe a patch for the apple and this one I'll make it into a hard enamel pin. I need to find a picture for this specific pin for like a reference for the manufacturer because I want to do this one a very specific way and I don't know if they can do it. I've been trying to find one where it's metal underneath and then they have like a coat of paint on top of that. Oh my god, okay, I finally found it. I had to scroll back so far. This is by Brown Rabbits. She has like this indented soft enamel for the eyes, the nose, and the mouth. And everything else is like this painted metal. I'm gonna use her as a reference when I outsource and see if they can do something like this for me. If not, then I'll have to redraw it in a different way. two hours ago. <laughs> You're probably sinking. Yep. Yeah. I'm resisting it, but I'm so used to falling asleep after eating carbs. Also, I like want you. fries! <laughs> <laughs> can you get into the Tiffany? <laughs> you know what would be funny? If it was like nine Brandons and one Tiffany. You'd be like, what is she doing here? <laughs> Why is she here at all? It's so cute. 
It's much later in the day, but I have some good news. I already finished four designs, two enamel pins and two patches, and I already emailed the manufacturers. They're getting me a quote on how much it costs, and they're trying to approve my artwork and see if I have to make any edits. I definitely felt very productive today making all these products. It makes me feel really fulfilled, which is exactly what I wanted in, I guess, my work life. It just makes me feel happy, like, making my own stuff, and I feel very warm and cozy, and I am definitely ready to sleep. It's like 12.30 right now, and I have my second COVID shot tomorrow, which is gonna be gonna be interesting. I heard from my mom that you're supposed to drink a lot of water before and after and it reduces the side effects, um, but I'm not really too scared. So the manufacturers got back to me and the patch lady is actually getting me a quote right now so she hasn't responded after that um, but she really likes my tiger apparently and I got my quote for enamel pins and I kind of want to be a little transparent with like the cost of making these enamel pins just in case you're making it and you kind of don't know like what price range you should aim at two designs, 200 each, which is 400 pieces, and including shipping, the molding fee, and everything. The total price is $535. With enamel pins, I do know that once you make the mold, when you produce more in the future, it's not going to cost you as much because you already have the mold made. You don't have to keep making the mold every single time you place an order, unless it's a new design. Also, a little update on the store, I just signed up for Shopify, so I'm gonna also be working on that today, um, but let me shower first so I'm not nasty when I start working. I like how your your giant camera. Yeah, you like my giant camera, huh? <laughs> you like it? It's so fuzzy. You like my giant camera? Oh, it's like a little newspaper bag. Oh, God, that's so cute. And then they gave me like a little bread for my soup. Do you want me to go over like the speech before you record? Or? No, it's okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we're giving you $5 dollars Oh, okay. Cool. Put it in for me. Okay. Alright, thank you. Yeah. So I just got my second dose of the COVID shot. I actually fell asleep earlier today on call with Vicky and my I thought my appointment was at 5.30 but turns out it was at 5 so when she woke me up I literally had like 30 seconds to put myself together and run out of the door. I also bought like a blue eyeliner because they had like a $5 off coupon and I'm like why not try something really different from what I usually do. Good morning. It's the next day and I actually didn't get any symptoms from my second dose yesterday, which is really surprising. I was full on expecting 
pain and I don't know, really, really, really bad fever. But yeah, I'm trying on my green eyeliner because I just, I got too excited about color eyeliner and I really wanted to try it. Um, but this green is kind of not what I expected it to be. I kind of thought it was going to be more of a teal, like a very saturated, cute teal. But it's more of like an olive green. Right now my eyeliner just doesn't like match anything in my outfit, so I need to change that. Okay, let's talk a little bit about website building because I have been working on it, but I haven't really been talking about my process. I used to do something like this, like a very tiny bit of this when I was working full time. I have like a little bit of knowledge about it. The first thing you want to do always when you're starting a new project, it doesn't necessarily have to be website building, but it could be, I guess like maybe product design or it could be just anything, right? You always need a source of inspiration. And this is different from copying, okay? Please do not copy. Like, it's one thing to take inspiration and bring it to your own website, but it's another thing to flat out like copy and riff off someone else's work. And they've spent hours and hours on that work and it really sucks when people see that they've been copied. So please don't copy. So to find inspiration for websites, look up your favorite stores that you've been shopping from and chances are they use Squarespace, they use Shopify, they use Wix. Um, you can compile a list under the platform that you choose and you want to use. And after you find a list of all of those different shops that you admire, you can actually view the page source. If you left click, there's a view of page source. You can search up the term theme and you can actually find out what theme they're using if that's the theme that you're most attracted to. A lot of more aesthetic looking websites are actually like coded from nothing. So you can't really download that theme in the store, but there are some online stores that already use like an existing theme inside of whatever platform you're using. And that's like the easy way to figure out like what you want to start off with. And then from there, all you have to do is like start customizing, you know? It's package time. I'm going to open the sticker app one first. Got my Patreon stickers in the mail. These should be transparent. And I also got something even more exciting than stickers. So I don't know if you guys know my accents. It's Marzia's brand and she recently had a drop. I'm a sucker for cute jeans. And like, I usually wear the same like three pairs of jeans, three or, three or four pairs of jeans. These are one of them, the black ones, but they're pretty standard and also I feel like I outgrew one of them because I tried putting them on today and I couldn't fit in them. It's just, it was way too tight. I ordered this, this pair of jeans and it has embroidery of little tigers on them and it's so cute. Also, I received these Ronnie's in the mail last week. I bought three of them for like future giveaways. I'm thinking like when I hit 100k on YouTube, I'll do a giveaway of three Ronnie's because a lot of people said that they missed out and I guess this is like another chance for you to get a Ronnie. Look how derpy they come out as in the bag. I feel like I need to tell people to like massage her face so it's a bit rounder. Just a tip if you don't want a derpy Ronnie just like squish it like this and her face should be a bit rounder. I mentioned previously that one of my friends bought 10 Ronnie's and this is the footage he gave me of 10 Ronnie's. The pants fit perfectly. Like they're so, oh my God, they're so cute. If I don't cuff the bottom, it's more of like a flared out look, which is also a cute vibe. But yes, I am, I'm gonna wear the heck out of these pants. They're gonna be so worn. They gave me 50 extras. I have 50 extra stickers. 
If I'm being honest, I have ran out of surfaces to stick stickers on for a while now. If you're my friend and you have surfaces that are aesthetic, that I can stick my stickers on for photos, please let me know because I don't know where to stick these anymore. But this is what this sticker looks like. Do you see the white little offset? Could have made it more visible, but I think that looks pretty cute. Um, I don't know where to put this though. Should I put it on my laptop? Ah, oh, frick it. I'm gonna put it on my laptop. I've been avoiding this, but I'm gonna do it. Goodbye. What the <laughs> heck? That's so good. I'm not gonna sing a song. Goodbye, Apple Cheeks people. See you next time <laughs> <laughs> on the next episode. <laughs> I will be in one eventually. That is so good. <laughs> Goodbye.